In this video, we're going to take a look at unit conversion, specifically from grams per cubic centimeter to kilograms per cubic meter. Now, remember that one gram per cubic centimeter is equivalent to a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. I want you to pause the video now and convert 7.8 grams per cubic centimeter to some sort of amount of kilograms per cubic meter. Now why is one gram per cubic centimeter equivalent to a thousand kilograms per cubic meter? Let's take a look at why that is so. So we're gonna first start off by analyzing a gram per cubic centimeter and we're gonna convert that to kilograms per cubic centimeter. So let's start off with a gram per cubic centimeter and we know that there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. Now I'm writing it this way because we want to cancel out the grams here and when we multiply this through what we end up with is one kilogram per 1,000 cubic centimeters. So we've converted it from gram per cubic centimeter to kilogram per cubic centimeter. So now all we need to do is to convert the cubic centimeter here to cubic meter. So let's start off with what we know so far. If we take what we just found and multiply it by some amount of cubic centimeter per cubic meter, what we would do then is we would cancel out the cubic centimeters and we would end up with kilogram per cubic meter, which is what we want to obtain. So what is the question mark here and what is the question mark here? Well, on an aside here, we know that one centimeter is equivalent to 0 0.01 meters. So a cubic centimeter would have to be equivalent to 0 0.01 meter times 0 0.01 meter times 0 0.01 meter three times. Now that would work out to 10 to the negative six cubic meters. So one cubic centimeter is equivalent to 10 to the negative six cubic meters. Well now that we know that we can now fill in our question mark here. Our first question mark in the numerator would be replaced with a 1 and our second question mark in the denominator we just figured out would be replaced with a 10 to the negative 6. Now if we multiply this through the cubic centimeters cancel out and what we would get is 1 kilogram in the numerator and in the denominator, we would have a thousand times 10 to the negative six meters cubed. Well, I'm gonna rewrite this. I'm gonna bring the 10 to the negative six up to the numerator. It would become 10 to the positive six kilograms over 1,000 cubic meters. Now, 10 to the power six divided by a thousand would actually reduce to a thousand. And so we would get a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. So therefore, what we just found is that one gram per cubic centimeter is equivalent to a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Now, if we want to convert 7.8 grams per cubic centimeters to some sort of amount of kilograms per cubic meter, well, this is now easy because we know the conversion calculation right here. All we would have to do is take the 7.8 grams per cubic centimeter and multiply it by 1,000. So 7.8 grams per cubic centimeter would equal 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. Now what if we wanted to go backwards? What if we were given the kilograms per cubic meter and we wanted to convert that to grams per cubic centimeter? Well, since you know this conversion here of grams per cubic centimeter to kilogram per cubic meter, then one kilogram per cubic meter would have to be equal to 0 0.001 grams per cubic centimeter. So if we took our 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter, all we would have to do is multiply the 7,800 by 0 0.001, and what we would get is 7.8 
grams per cubic centimeter.